Hey boo, hey, it's Diva and I am here again, here bringing you a blessing from the Most High. Listen, I just want to let you guys know that when the Lord shows you something about a person, you have to make sure that you're well aware that he's actually trying to speak to you and let you know what it is. Those dreams that you have about certain people that show you their character and the way that they truly are, please believe. Don't think that the enemy is sending you something. Sometimes, don't get me wrong, the enemy sends you dreams, but you have to pay attention and realize that what God is showing you is a form of like, let me let you know, let me make you aware of what's really real. See, God be like, he be so, he, he, look, he's so real with us that he gonna make sure we know before time what somebody is trying to do or what someone is, how they really are. He wants us to know that. So he's not going to sit there and allow things to happen without us knowing. He always gives the, the, us the knowledge and the understanding to know what it is, what's going on. See, I want to explain to you guys the dream that I had recently. There were things in my dream that showed me a family member that was actually utilizing cards and, you know, things that I used to do. And they were trying to get me to do it. It basically was showing me that they were explaining, like, I get more money now or they, well, they get more money now because they're doing what I used to do. But I know that those things are not of God. Those things are not what God wants me to do. So I'm explaining like, no, nah, this ain't what God wants for me. I'm on a new level. I'm changing the game up for the family. I'm trying to change up our lives so we can break generational curses. Because when you begin to indulge in things that you know the Lord has told you that you shouldn't do, you know that there's something that's going to change your family, something that's going to change the generations to come. So I'd rather not indulge in anything that the Lord does not want me to indulge in. So you have to trust the things that you're seeing. Trust the things that God is showing you. Whether you're praying, you know once you pray or once you dream about a certain situation, you pray against it, you pray that God changes that situation for his good, that none of that takes place in your life. So when you're seeing these things, you want to take action immediately, especially when you wake up and you begin to remember. Last Sunday, I had a dream, and it actually was Saturday, actually Saturday, um, going into Sunday morning. And I had a dream concerning the eyesight. And it's crazy because I never even remembered it when I woke up. But when I went to church, I began to praise and worship. I began to praise God while we were sitting there and it was a worship going on and we were praising the Most High. And I began to remember because the pastor was speaking about seeing clearly. And so I just like kind of got this epiphany. God just kind of allowed his Holy Spirit to remind me of what it was and what I had that dream about. See, God is going to begin to show us things and he's going to open our eyes to things that people are doing he's going to open our eyes to the things that he wants us to do i mean we got to be alert right so if we want god to open our eyes we have to be praying we have to be prayful we have to learn how to worship because when we worship we actually call down the spirit of god which begins to show us and open our eyes to see and god said it was crazy because i was at a doctor's office and i was having eye surgery the doctor told me that I would see clearly after after the surgery was done, that I would see clearly after the surgery was done, I would see clearly as time goes on. See, not everything happens right then. Not everything happens instantly. We have to be patient in the waiting. We have to be patient with whatever we're going through, whatever you're going experiencing with your family, whatever you're experiencing in at the job. At your, in your business and why your business is not moving or even if it is moving it may be exploding and you're you may be to the point to where you might have to turn customers down i'm not sure your situation but you will see clearly over time whether these are the customers you should work with or if these are the customers that you shouldn't work with we have to wait on god see they that waiteth on the lord shall renew their strength and that's what he was trying to show me that we have to be patient while we're waiting so let's go ahead and start off with prayer and we'll go deeper into this okay dear heavenly father we thank you for this amazing grace for the revelation that you give us even in our dreams in our day-to-day -day lives we continue to worship you and give you all the honor and glory we ask that you would cover us create a hedge of protection around us allow whoever needs to see this and hear this word 
Help them to receive it, Lord God. Let there be shares among shares so that other people can actually receive this message as well. We ask that you will use me right now for your glory. Use me for your glory. Allow your Holy Spirit to use me in depth, Lord God. Have your way, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I open my Bible to Psalms 94. And it speaks as we says, Oh Lord, the God of vengeance. Oh God of vengeance. Let your glorious justice shine forth. Arise, O judge of the earth. Give the proud what they deserve. How long, O Lord, how long will the wicked be allowed to gloat? How long will they speak with arrogance? And how long will the, these evil people boast? And he's speaking. This is David speaking to the Lord. Like, why are you letting this go on for so long? I ain't got time for this. I'm tired. I don't get it. I don't understand why they keep gloating and just boasting over the things that they're doing. Why are they doing that? And like I said, in my dream, a family member was boasting on what they were doing and how much money they were making and how the things that they were doing, even though we know this is something that the Lord does not attest to. He does not like this. So all in all, looking at that scripture we have to understand that the lord is actually going to answer us because even after reading this all the way to the end the lord begins to answer david it doesn't he doesn't go on to say okay well you just deserve it you're gonna keep going through it all of your life no god answers his prayers because he's praying to him and he's talking to him sometimes we do have to ask y'all know them people that tell you don't question god i don't believe that's true because god wants a relationship with you he wants you to talk to him and also if you have a question you can ask him a question we need to know if you need revelation of a situation in your life whether this is at your job in your business in your home life whatever it is he wants you to ask so he can show you and that's where the revelation begins. Revelation begins to show up and God begins to show us the things that we really need. He shows us the things we, that we need to see. Because all in all, if we're confused, we can't do nothing about it. If we're confused, if we stuck in confusion, we just there. But if we're asking God why, or we're asking God what's going on, what really happened, you got to ask. He says you have not because you ask now. You have to ask. If you want an answer, it doesn't always mean it's materialistic things that you're asking for. If you're asking a question and you need the answer from the Lord, you ask him. Don't be afraid to step out and ask God for what it is that you need, honey. Because he wants to know what you think. Even though he already knows, sometimes he wants you to ask. You have to ask. Have not, you have not, because you ask not. So all of these things that happen in your family life, people around you, people at your job, people in the business, you will be revealed all these things. I've had so many dreams, so many things that God showed me when I was in situations that I knew I had no control over. Because people will be people. People are going to do what they want to do. But God will show you in dreams. He will show you the signs and wonders, the things that you need to know concerning him and concerning that individual. See, they don't know that you're close to God like that. See, if you know that you've been directly connecting to the Most High, you know that you've been trying to get your spiritual game up, you can ask. And those narcissists that you're dealing with, those people that are trying to get over on you, who want to make you think that they're actually really for you, but they're really against you, God will definitely show you what's really going on. It can either be in a dream, it can be in a revelation from another person, it can be a revelation of a scripture, his word, However, he will show you. So those are the things that we should focus that God will answer our prayers. He will show us things. And it may take time. Some of you guys may have lost a loved one. You may have lost someone to death, just like myself. I don't speak on it too much because I don't want to start getting into my feelings. But I promise you, he will show you in due season what it is, why those people had to leave whether it was on this physical realm or in the spiritual realm, they had to go. Because I've had already, I get my answers. When I talk to God and I pray to him, I get the answers that I need. You wonder why certain people have to leave this earth. Sometimes people have to leave this earth to wake people up, to wake your family members up, to wake other people up. But you don't know until you ask. And he'll show you. My dream was so vivid, I don't even want to give it to you because I'm holding on to it. It was so amazing to me that my child had to leave here. But it was something that God was doing. And it's going to be something that's beyond our thoughts. 
something amazing. I look at it like this. He gone to where we wish we was. We wish we was living that life where we didn't have to stress and worry about what was going on in this life. We wish we was there. <laughs> he good. We don't want to have to still have to sit here in war and pray and fast and get those things you know we have to do that we're in this war together we're here to help bring people to christ and sometimes god has to wake us up to show us that listen you need to get to your business you need to be about your father's business what are you doing and what are you not doing what are you not doing and if you're like i've just watched a video earlier it talked about selling your soul like you don't have to actually sell a person's soul just to get what you're trying to get it can be selling your soul can actually be you selling drugs things that are not good prescription medicine you know doing things like that being out in the world partying all the time only doing things that the enemy is trying to bring you down into that rabbit hole if you're not working for god you're working for the enemy so trust me and believe me and hear me when I say this. Everything happens for a reason. And everything happens for a greater reason than we can even know or think. But when we're connected to the Holy Spirit, when we're connected to the Holy Ghost, our minds become synced in with the higher ups, with God, with the Holy Ghost. We become synced in and we understand and we can see clearer. And it literally gives us some type of confirmation with even in our spirit, in our soul as to what it is. And then we can actually be at peace with what he's given us. But if you're out there and you're trying to seek answers from other people and you're not receiving that revelation through the Holy Spirit, it'll have you running around with it like a chicken with his head cut off. I'm just saying you'll be running around trying to figure out what it is, crying all day, wondering what to do. How do you do this? Thank God I didn't have to, I don't have to go through all of that. I've cried. I've shed my tears. I've done what I had to do. I've, I've asked God and he's shown me. So now I know. That doesn't mean I don't have days where I do cry. But there are days that most days I'm magnifying the Lord. Most days I'm giving, I'm giving my life to God over and over again. Huh. I'm just saying what happened with him only drew me closer to God. And see, that's what the enemy thought. He thought that once you lost that job, once you lost that, that business, once you lost the wealth that you had, that home, that car, that truck, your family, he thought you were going to give up and just go crazy and say, I give up. That's what he wanted. But I'm in peace. I'm at peace because I know, because I'm connected. It's all, it's all about that connection, that relationship, everything that you need to know, everything that you need to see, every answer that you need answered, it comes from God. It comes from his Holy Spirit. He gives you everything you need to know in that way. Yeah, people going to try to tell you, why are you so godly now? Why are you Why are you so into God? Why are you always praying? Why are you always talking about God? That's all you ever talk about. You darn right, because that's what brings me peace. Why would I talk about something that's going to make me anxious, that's going to make me sad? Why would I keep gossiping with another person? Just in that, All that's going to do is bring up and stir up other confusion. Why would I stand in that? I would rather stand with God by myself than to be with other people who are actually magnifying the negativity of other people, the negativity of other things. I would rather do that. I'm at peace. And I'm praying for you today that you're at peace with whatever God is doing in your life. Whatever's going on in your situation. Whatever, if you lost that home, if you're not able to sleep in your own bed at night, if you're going through such a tough time that you can't even talk to nobody, you got to reach out to God. If you've lost a loved one, and you can't get yourself back together, call on Jesus. It's something about that name, Jesus. It changes everything. It changes the situation. And for some reason, God wanted me to tell you, if you have a sleep paralysis, you need to be calling on Jesus. You can think the name of Jesus. You might can't move your mouth or your lips or whatever. <laughs> you better think the name of Jesus, and I guarantee you it's going to move mountains. It's going to move those things off of you because you have that power within you. You have the power of the Holy Ghost within you to do what God is asking you to do. I'm telling y'all, it's a better life over here than it is over there. You know what I used to do? Everything I was doing, it, it did not magnify God. I thought I was. I thought that everything I was doing, I was actually giving glory to God and that I was actually helping other people by reading those cards and all of that. We don't need all that. 
when you're connected to God, you are the source because the source is in you and you can give divine revelation through prophetic speaking, through prophetic words, prophetic music. It comes naturally when you're connected. <laughs> you don't need all that. Because I promise you, and I guarantee you, if you get deeper and deeper, it's going to take you out of here. It's going to take you out in some way. And if you're not connected to the Most High, it will definitely take you all the way out. And you don't know where you're going. So, connected to the source, connecting to God, the Most High, everything that you're doing, in every way, you're going to realize that He gives you the answers over time. You know, there are some people who are still sitting in their misery because they can't figure out why they lost their marriage they lost their children they lost their family they lost their job their business is not like it was they're still looking at every dynamic they're looking at the analytics trying to see what went wrong and it's been years and years like why continue to look at those analytics when you can look at god who changes the analytics and tells you the solution he gives you the solution. Why not do it? Why not? So let God fight your battles. Let God give you the answers. Let him give you everything that you're asking for. He says, you have not because you ask not. So I'm here to inform you. Now hear me when I say this. As long as you're strong and rooted in him, nobody can uproot you. Nobody can knock you off your high horse. Nobody can knock you down because you're rooted in him. I don't care about the naysayers. I don't care about those that talk about you and judge you for all that you do. It, we ain't worried about that. Just connect to the most high and understand that he's going to come through for you. <laughs> Period. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to end it here because I just want to get that word out here. That was something that I really need to let you guys know. No matter what people are doing, God is going to show you whatever's going on. He's going to give you the answers of why they're treating you this way. Why are they acting this way? Why are, why are you seeing dreams of this person doing evil towards you? There's a fine reason. There's a reason for it. And God will show you and there will be a clearer vision. You'll be able to see clearly of what it is that he's trying to show you and ask him. You begin to pray against that. You rebuke those things. Whatever he's showing you, those are the things that he's giving you information to. It's almost like God speaking secrets. He's trying to give you secret revelations so your enemies don't mess over you. He tells you ahead of time what they're doing. That's literally, literally what your dreams are showing you when you're connected. He's just showing you to let you know before time. It's like you actually getting, you got the plug, y'all. <laughs> you, you connected with the plug. Like you, you know, when is, when, look, when is the merchandise coming in? When is the information coming in? How you going to get it? Where it's coming from? What state, what city, what country is coming from? You connected to the plug. You know, all the information now. Hmm. When a lot of people just still in secret and they just working on the corner and they just getting it and working the money and then whatever. I just wanted to use that as an example. But that's the thing. We connected to God. He's going to show you the ins and outs. He's going to show you behind the scenes. So you can get ready and be ready for it. Like, I, look, I done prayed against this because I already know. Look, I already know what you up to. You claim to be a child of God. A lot of people claim to be a child of God. But they back here doing things behind the scene. And God will show you what it is that they're doing. Why they're doing it. Why they going all out their way to mistreat you. To do you dirty. He gonna show you, even though they might be smiling in your face, he gonna let it be known. So hear me when I say this, trust in God, connect to him. Know that he is the one who's gonna show you what they're doing and why they're doing it. They can't hide from you. They can't lie to you when you connected to him. You gonna already know and don't doubt it. Cause when he show you, you cannot doubt it. You have to trust it and go on with it and pray about it. You can't be super connected to that person the way you used to because he's letting you know, look, you can't trust that person. It's not going to work that way. And God says, vengeance is mine. So let him do his vengeance. But you pull yourself back. What we call it? Block them and bless them. You got to block them sometimes. You can send blessings the way I pray for you. I'm loving. I'm praying to God that you actually turn to the most time. I'm praying that you would change your life, but I got to block you. Type in the comments, block them and bless them. Block them and bless them. 
Yes. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video. Let everybody know that the diva has another video out. I promise you, somebody needs to hear this word. So please share it. I love you guys. Peace and blessings. Mwah.